Some people think you need to study computer science to land a job as a software engineer. But that could not be further than the truth, and I can say this because I do not have a computer science degree. If you're new here, hi, my name is Zoe. I'm a software engineer and former university professor that loves teaching folks how to code. If you're interested in learning how to code, check out the bootcamp that I run. It's the first link in the description below. In this video, I'll be showing you what steps I would take if I wanted to land a job as a software engineer without a computer science degree. Most of these steps are what I actually did or wish I had done in order to get my current role. So let's hop into the video. Step number one is to learn the languages you're gonna need to code. So you're gonna to wanna to learn HTML, CSS, JavaScript, TypeScript, and then some sort of front end framework or library like React. Then you're also gonna to wanna to learn how to host your projects so that people can see the work you've done. Check out Codecademy, Free Code Camp, YouTube tutorials, or I mean, you could even check out my bootcamp if you want a cheaper shortcut. But the first step is to learn languages. Step two, you wanna build a portfolio website and at least three awesome projects. Some ideas for this are e-commerce sites, informational sites, task management apps, really anything that shows off your skills in the implementation as well as the architecture. And bonus points if you can make any of them full stack projects or rely on APIs. Step number three, you wanna brush up your resume and your GitHub to highlight those projects. Having a great resume is essential to getting seen, but also having an excellent GitHub profile will make you stand out amongst the crowd. If you wanna see the resume that I used to get a software engineering job, I'll leave a link to that video at the end. Number four, practice interviewing. Interviewing for a software engineering job isn't like a regular job interview. You'll have your standard sort of behavior interviews, but you'll also have technical interviews and sometimes more than one. So you'll wanna take some time to prepare for both, but especially the technical interviews. For front end engineers, technical interviews will usually take the form of building a project on a call with an interviewer or being given a take home project to do at your own pace. Whichever option you get, make sure that you're able to do it in an efficient manner. And bonus tip, if you do end up building a project on a call with an interviewer, make sure that you're explaining to the interviewer the steps that you're taking, unless they ask you specifically not to. But I do find that explaining my decisions and even asking questions if it's appropriate, in the past allowed me to build a rapport with my interviewer and those are usually the jobs that I got called back for. 